guys so welcome back to my channel for today's video I'm gonna be doing my 20 week pregnancy update I was gonna do the 20 week but I missed it <laughs> I forgot so I'm gonna be doing my 20 week pregnancy update uh, we finally got a set date uh, exactly today is Monday a week from now December 7th we'll be finally finding out the baby's gender which we're both really excited about um, we are gonna be doing a little gender reveal at home so I'm so excited to show you guys and to find out along with you guys what our last baby will be um yeah so let's just get right into the video so I was telling them how we're finding out next Monday huh? about the baby's gender yeah we are uh -huh, we're really excited really excited what's your guess don't have a guess you don't have a guess? Don't want a guess. I'm happy with either. <laughs> <laughs> so now that I'm at 21 weeks, um, I do finally um, like recognize the baby's movements because the baby kicks like pretty hard now. And then like if I stir my belly, I can see the baby moving, which is pretty cool. And then Chris says that he feels the baby kicking him um, when I'm sleeping because I tend to like sleep or cuddle up with him <laughs> like on my stomach like on his back or on him so he feels the baby kicks so that's pretty cool too but let me just show you guys real quick what's going on behind the scenes so. <laughs> it's not focused there we go yes we're so cute look Skylar But yeah, aside from feeling the baby moving now, um, it's not really the symptoms. Aside from like I get like my really bad pelvic pain, like I mentioned in my 16 week pregnancy update, I still get the really bad pelvic pain and then sometimes, um, especially when I get out of bed in the mornings, I'll feel like the really bad pain to the point where like I feel like I can't spread my legs apart um, when trying to get out of bed or else otherwise it hurts really bad. And then um, lately I've been getting like this weird stabbing pains under my stomach which freaks him out because then he's like <gasps> Baby time! Because yeah. um, apparently um, they said at my last appointment when they checked me, what was it like a week ago? Like a week ago? Um, the base stuff of my ultrasound, like my placenta was pretty low so I did some research <laughs> which was pretty scary so um it, I mean, I read some scary stuff, but I'm gonna ask more information about that. And my doctor wanted them to check on my next ultrasound, which we'll be having on Monday, um, just to make sure or to check to see if my placenta is still low or if it's in place now. <laughs> um, but yeah, there hasn't really been much change aside just from feeling the movement usual pains my belly's growing pretty quickly it's getting really hard to find comfortable clothes Can you drop my <laughs> she dropped all that she dropped all that what was i saying Sky! There's no really other change. I mean, my other last three pregnancies I would always crave ice, and this time around, I'm not craving ice at all. So that's different this time around. Is there any other changes or different or updates this time around? I feel like that's not much. Much up. Except from just the pains and the baby kicking now. Um, my ultrasound. Just guys have cravings too. He yeah, he gets like random cravings for food where he like almost cry <laughs> wanting that food like one morning he woke up he's like I really want my noodle so we went and got him some my noodle I don't know it also happened with our last babies where he would like get like random cravings and just <laughs> I'm not sure what that has to do with it but uh, with food I'm still craving mainly uh, like spicy or sour stuff um or burgers yeah. with lots of ketchup or pizza with ketchup um yeah, look at 
but yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Not really sweet. Um, if it is candy, it has to be like really sour or um, spicy. But yeah, I think that's honestly all of the updates that I have for the 20 week, 21 weeks. My next video might be our pregnancy and a pregnancy announcement, our gender reveal announcement. <laughs> our gender reveal announcement. We're gonna try to film it. Um, my sister's gonna be here <laughs> and my mom's gonna be here. I think we're just gonna do something at home uh, because I'm leaning towards the idea of like doing the balloon from like Party City and then you pop it and then the confetti is either pink or blue. And I've seen people do it at the park, but all I could think about after is like the mess that's left behind. <laughs> and I don't want to litter. <laughs> so if we do it at home, then we could just vacuum it all up. But <laughs> that's pretty much it for. Oh, you're gonna. Um, let's see. Ooh, hot chocolate's ready. Perfect timing. Uh, so I'm just gonna show you guys really quickly how my belly is looking now before I end this video Okay So this is what it's looking like. I'm wearing my TJ. Sorry, babe. It's a hot pot Hot chocolate, but this is what my belly is looking like As you can tell, let me scooch you guys up It is Getting pretty big Pretty noticeable now. Um, I'm almost at Chris's level. <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's what the belly's looking like. I did notice though, I'm getting a few more stretch marks, but I don't know why this point, this time around, I'm getting really itchy around this area, but I do try really hard not to scratch. That's, oh my goodness, that's what it's looking like. Pretty round. And then my belly, Chris will always make fun of me because my belly button always like picks out like so much, like it's non existent, it's not even there anymore. <laughs> but yeah, that's what it's looking like. 21 weeks, more than halfway there. Where this baby pops out. Some hot chocolate. <laughs> So extra. Oh. <laughs> Yo, I don't really have that much of an update or that much of a change, but we are really excited for next week. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy watching. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Baby! <laughs> Are you okay? Take the damn picture! <laughs> Don't talk like that!